I've been waiting for you. Fuck the flamethrower. What if I walked into it? Giant battery on his back. Coming for you as soon as I can. Oh. God damn, he does not miss, does he? Yeah, you got three.
His shoulders are light blue, they're almost yellow. Start quest. Oh, you already killed him. <laughs> Shit. I thought he was only down for a little bit. <laughs> Nicely done. Shit. All those robots were chasing me for like the longest time. <laughs> Catalyst Blueprint? Building. Job well done, Descendant. However, given the current state of the dimensional wall, we do not know what Colossus will surface the next time, or when. Humankind must choose whether to engage in an all-out pointless war against Corel's great army or face equally immense colossi, which will appear as soon as the dimensional wall disappears. Strategy, tactics, troop numbers. We are at an overwhelming disadvantage in all aspects. If things continue like this, humanity really will. We can't give up yet, Mel. We have one final option. Alpha? Just get As all of you know, the situation we find ourselves in seems pretty dire. Due to my lack of sound judgment, I fell for Corel's trap. The Ironheart, which I considered to be our only hope, turned out not to be the key to our salvation after all. If we had used the Ironheart in Albion as I stubbornly insisted, I dread to think what would have happened. This situation one I created. I am solely to blame. Yes, I am the descendant who was always defeated. That is likely why I was never able to link with the guide. I should never have become commander. However, if there was someone who could heed the true calling of the descendants, then I would let go of everything I have believed in up until now and put my trust in them. Everyone, I am ordering the destruction of the Ironheart. I will deal with the Magisters. I believe they wouldn't be able to survive without us anyway. Descendants, you need to work with the Guide and carry out any and all necessary operations to destroy the Ironheart. No need to wait for approval from HQ. Just make sure you are as victorious in this as you always are. I'm sure that you will be, as you always have been. I place my trust in you, Descendant. Command, we must move quickly. We need to support the Descendants and stop the Vulgus at all costs. Descendants, I have heard Alpha's message. I am sorry I'm unable to directly communicate with him. Come with me, Descendants. It is our turn now. This is... Descendants. We are close to achieving our true target. However, as Alpha said, the situation is dire. We must hurry. First, it would be wise to move the Ironheart in White Knight Gulch to Albion. Albion has put in place defensive measures to counter Vulgus battleships. We should also be able to access the energy required to destroy the Ironheart. But we need an immense amount of RK to detach an iron heart which is linked to a prime hands. For this reason, most of the descendants must be sent to aid the detachment. For you, however, I have a different request. 
Descendant, come with me to where the phenomenon known as the Pillar of Light occurred. When that Pillar of Light took effect, as well as the energy of the Iron Heart, I felt a familiar kind of pain, as if my skin was peeling and my flesh was melting. There must be an inverted Iron Heart there. Corel would have connected it to a prime hands in order to collapse the dimensional wall. We must stop this before the dimensional wall is completely destroyed. We must retrieve the inverted Iron Heart. If we fail to do so, even if the Iron Heart is immediately moved to Albion, countless colossi will appear throughout Ingress. However, if we take back the inverted Iron Heart, the destruction of the dimensional wall will be stopped, and Corel's advance will be delayed. I will deliver the mission to detach the Iron Heart to the other descendants. Please go now, to the place where the Pillar of Light was. I will meet you there, descendant. Guides, this is Jaber. I've been dispatched to the Hagios. I'm investigating intel that Eamon, the General of the Legion of Immortality, was recently here. I don't think Eamon appearing at this point in time is a coincidence. I'm sure it's related to this incident. That is indeed unusual. I'll join you there, Jaber. If what the guide says is true, in order to retrieve the Iron Heart that's here, there's something we have to understand first. The entry device to the Hagios Prime Hands was destroyed a long time ago, and neither we nor the Vulgus could gain entry. But now they've just sauntered in there and connected the Iron Heart to the Prime Hands. I think this whole thing has something to do with this intel on Eamon. Here. This is Zachary of the 22nd Recon Squad. A surveillance drone in the Hagios Corrupted Zone has tracked the movements of the high-ranking Vulgus, Eamon. We're unable to access the data remotely due to our signal being jammed. The surveillance drone needs to be retrieved for the data to be confirmed. Hmm. Our recon squad has been scattered by a Vulgus attack. Request him backup. This jacket looks like it's laid out of turtles. This by HQ a few hours ago. Not long after, a pillar of light appeared in Hagios, and Corel's fleet began to move. I think Eamon found something in the Corrupted Zone that allowed them to enter the ruins. Looks like we need to find Eamon before we can get the Ironheart. Don't you think I'm the best person for that job? With my RK ability? The other descendants can help with the mission to detach the Ironheart. No, Jaber. We all need to go together. You should focus on your capabilities while we handle the battle missions. It would be wise to gather intel on the nearby area first. We will need the recon squad's help to establish Eamon's location. Oh, well, this suddenly turned into a cooperative mission. Uh, well, I guess it should be fine, so long as I don't have to work with loud people like Blair or Luna. Dude, don't you be talking shit about Blair. I repeat, the descendants have arrived. HQ, do you copy? Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, descendant. You saved my life back there. I'm Zachary, 22nd Recon Squad member. So, do you know what the hell is going on? Comms have been down the past few days, we've had no backup. And then suddenly Eamon appears, and now there's some strange beam of light shooting down from the sky. I thought the Vulgus were launching an all-out assault and nearly crapped my pants. <laughs> what? I was right? Well, that's one thing. But the comms... Did you say you only received it a few hours ago? No way. It's been more than 48 hours since I transmitted those comms. I can't believe you've only just received the comms I sent a few days ago. Hmm. Have you detected the Vulgus jamming your signals at all? Ah, oh, so that's why backup was delayed. And why we weren't getting comms from HQ. So, when we saw reinforcements weren't coming, we had to put together a team of scouts to retrieve the surveillance drone ourselves. 
We lost many soldiers in the process, and the drone was damaged. I was planning to recover the drone's memory logs and take them directly to HQ. But as you know, we can't use the RK warp device. What do we do now? Is the situation FUBAR? Don't worry. I designed this surveillance drone. I optimized its field performance so that you can use Volga's parts for emergency repairs. Zachary, can we get these parts nearby? Yep, we can definitely find them around here. I'll walk you through what you need to do. If we can access the information captured by the drone, we can bridge that 48-hour gap in no time. Keep at it. The data captured by the drone, Eamon's most recent destination was a naturally formed cave. It doesn't seem to have any tactical value. That being said, there's a high number of Volga's troops going in and out of the cave. Construction materials and heavy equipment. There's a lot of high-tech equipment being brought in, too. They wouldn't be there without a reason. We need to initiate a search operation now. Could you handle the cave? I'll seal off the entrance to stop the enemy getting reinforcements, or retreating. Zachary will cover us from enemy snipers with a scout rifle. We don't have much time. Let's move. Descendants, there's a few important things to keep in mind for this operation. And I have a personal favor to ask of you as well. Recon squad reporting. When you get near to the cave, be on guard for the commander level of Volgus who is stationed there. He's a cyborg of Volgus called Keldir. He's part of a specialized sniper unit that uses anti-matter ammunition. I managed to damage his visual sensors last time I engaged him. But he can still use his auxiliary sensors and sound functions to launch deadly attacks. Fighting him could be a challenge, even for a descendant. And as for my personal request, well, if you do run into Keldir, I'd like to be the one to finish him. I lost a lot of good men to that piece of crap, Volgus. If I'm not the one to take him out, I'll regret it for the rest of my life. Zachary, emotional soldiers are no use in a war. Are you telling me not to avenge my men? No. If you're gonna do it, just make sure you're smart about it. We'll give you all the support you need, so don't be a hero about it. Whether it's the head or the heart of that Volgus. We'll get you what you need. Understood. Also very strong. Guide, can you identify anything of significance? I am unable to detect any traces of the Iron Heart or void energy from here. However, I am picking up a very familiar phase pulse. Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely. Descendant, please look on the opposite side of the cave. Jaber confirmed there is heavy equipment and high tech facilities there. Containment 
partition has been lifted. The laser traps are on a separate circuit. We can't control it from here, so we need your skills. So it really wasn't just a cave. But how the hell did Eamon figure this out? Eamon has been well versed in the details and capabilities of the facilities for a long time. However, there is no time to stand and watch. We must find out what information Eamon was able to obtain here. Be careful of the bogus reinforcements as well. They've we started to come through the cave entrance. There 
was more than one base ship gate. The Vulcans have already excavated and taken several. The damage to the last remaining one here was so severe, it seems they abandoned their excavation of it. I detect phase wavelengths erupting from the damaged parts. The first surge was much stronger than the one we had just now. That's why there was a jamming signal generated across Hagios. We could use this when attacking. It might come in handy when we face Corel's fleet. We haven't received any comms. We were getting worried. What did you say? The recon squad's communication was sent 48 hours ago? That doesn't make any sense. How have the Volgus developed advanced tech warfare capabilities? Run the details by me again, please? All clear. All right. So Eamon was excavating a phase shift gate in the hidden ruins, and he discovered that the damaged device emitted quantum waves which acted as jamming signals. Hmm. I see. I understand that he would have taken advantage of such an opportunity. It seems luck is not on our side. If we'd received this report sooner, we could have acted on the information. But at least we have some useful intel, even if it didn't reach us at the right time. If we can find the excavated phase shift gate, we'll still be able to achieve our goal. I'm more concerned with the operation at the White Knight Gulch. It's taking longer to detach the Ironheart than we expected. At this rate, it may not be completed by the time Corel's fleet arrives. We've already had reports of Vulgus forces appearing near to the Gulch. We're running out of time. I wish there was some way that we could turn things around. We'll just have to do the best we can on both fronts for now. Please continue with the operation. Wait, are, are, are comms back up? Is this Jaber's receive signal? Blair, why are you in the Hagios? I, it is you, turret boy. It's nice to hear your voice. Have you eaten? Uh, what, what would happen to me? <laughs> well, it's a long story. There was the, the Volgus forward base and, and these weird cargo trucks. I ran into all sorts of things. While all that was happening, comms were down and the guide was nowhere to be seen. There were a lot of enemies and, and a weird beam of light phenomenon. Everything was nuts. Uh, the gist. Give me the gist. Volgus base, cargo trucks, Actually, just send your current location. I should hear this in person. <laughs> Sounds good to me. I'll send you the coordinates. You send me updates on what's been going on at your end. 